So let's talk about the flip-flops. So what is a flip-flop? A flip-flop is a circuit that has two stable states and can be used to store state information. So how does a flip-flop work? A flip-flop works by using NAND and NOR gate. As you can see from the given slide that NAND and NOR gates work according to the given truth table. So how do D flip-flops work? D flip-flops work according to the principle of feedback circuit. What is a feedback circuit? It would be explained after some slides. And in the above figure, D is the input, E is the clock, Q is the output, and Q dash is its inverse. So what is a clock? A clock is a wave that repeatedly alternates between 0 and 1. When we say that a particular computer is clocked at let's say 2 GHz, we are actually talking about the frequency of this clock. The clock determines whether or not the value of the input signal will be used. On a positive clock edge, the value of the input is given as the output and this continues being the value of the output until there is a change in the value of the input at the next positive clock edge. As you can see in the as you can see from the truth table, when the value of the clock is at a negative edge, irrespective of whatever input is now given, the value of the output stays the same and there is no change in memory. However, when there is a positive clock edge, the value of the output follows the value of the input. One of the application of D flip-flop is memory storage. So what is the principle of memory storage? In a simple feedback circuit, the output is fed back into the input. For example, in the above circuit, if the output is 1, it will go back in as the input and give the same final output. Thus, it is saved in the memory of the circuit. So how is memory storage done using the flip-flops? As the value of the output does not change when the clock is not at positive edge, if we keep the clock value 0 at all times, after getting the desired output, the value of output will be saved. Irrespective of whatever input is given to this after that. A a D flip-flop can also be used to store one bit of information. If clock is at 1, our output will follow the input. Else if clock is at 0, output will remember the last value of our input. A D flip-flop can also be used to change the frequency by a factor of 2x. Whatever wave is... The frequency of whichever wave has to be halved is given as the clock. And as you can see from the two waves given, at the first positive clock edge, the frequency, the clock value is 1. So this becomes the output value. And now the output value will stay 1 till the next positive clock edge. And the next positive clock edge, the value of the clock is 0. And this becomes the value of the output and this continues. And so the frequency is halved. One more application of the flip-flop is shift registers. So what are flip registers? Shift registers. Shift registers are sequences of flip-flops that share the same clock. They are used in information transfer and can store multiple bits of information. There are four types of shift registers, one of which is the serial in parallel out shift register. How does it work? At the first positive clock edge, the first input data reaches A. After the second edge, the data formally at A gets to B and new data appears at A. After the third edge, B's data gets to C, A's data gets to B and this continues. Example of use of SIPA. This can be used to make patterns in LEDs. For example, if the input is 1011, then at t equal to 1, 1 reaches the first LED and it glows. At t equal to 2, the 1 which was at the first LED gets to the second and 0 appears at the first LED and so only the second LED glows and this continues. Thank you.